so it's clear, and I'm sure probably most of everybody gets this, but um, the districts you have, uh, Mike is, is uh, District 2, and uh, along with Bob. And then Ken Littlefield, who's not, yeah, Bob over here, and because we probably should have done it by district or whatever yeah. I'm thinking, but anyway. And then Ken Littlefield would be the third Republican candidate, just so everybody understands that, yeah. who wasn't able to make it tonight. And he wouldn't all say he wasn't able to make it. He didn't make it. Didn't make it. Okay. So <laughs> take it for what it's worth. And then Henry and Mike, District 4, which we heard from. So I just wanted to throw that out. Uh, that's it for the commissioner races. Next we have Matthew Abbott, who's running for mosquito control. Yeah. <laughs> also known as Skeeter. I can find out about that later. Um, name is, is Matthew Abbott. Um, been here since the 60s, been a Republican, born into it, and uh, so 60s in Pasco County since uh, for quite some time and always will be. Uh, I've been serving you now for eight years as your current commissioner in seat two, not district two or other districts, but seat two encompasses all of Pasco County. Um, back uh, around 15 years ago, we took on the middle of Pasco, this area, and also the, uh, the east side. Uh, previous to, to that, I was also in middle management um, roles with uh, Kodak and the DuPont you know, chemical company, um, so got... Um, some good training, you know, working with those companies and so on. Um, the, the district, in my opinion, uh, the Mosquito Control District is a special taxing authority and it has been run, I believe, very well. In fact, we were used um, in the governor's, um, the governor did a review last year of all special districts and we were used as an example of efficiency um, throughout the state. Um, that's not what we expected out of when the governor's office showed up, but that's what happened in the end. So that was a good thing. Uh, we are, you know, only a few million dollar operation in comparison to some of these other ones. Uh, the salary they pay us is like a volunteer salary. Um, it buys you a few meals a month, take home pays around, I don't know, 260, 369, something like that. So, so small that it is almost voluntary. So if there's other volunteers, we'll step forward do so. <laughs> the, um, the, we employ, we're based in Odessa, Florida, um, 25 acres, everything's paid for, no debt. We have 25 full-time employees there, uh, and then we expand at our peak right now to roughly 49 to 50 employees that are part-timers. Um, so, you know, efficiency comes down as the months go on. It is a year-round operation. Uh, so there's other things. We are recognized around the world um, yeah, as PASCO, as an example of technology, technology that we share. We help fight the disease. Here in PASCO, we have very little disease uh, from mosquitoes, from vector-borne diseases. Um, fortunately, what, unfortunately, what we do have is um, things coming up from the Caribbean now, people traveling airlines, Brazil from the World Cup, we'll see disease come up from that. Uh, we are from Martin County right now, we've got dengue going on and we've got um, the latest one is uh, chicken gunya. Um, we do have a lot of uh, surveillance going on in the county. Chickens is our first thing that we have out there and um, lots, of, lots of other things. So one of the last things I want to say is as a taxpayer, you're all entitled to the services. So hit pascomosquito.org and you can get your services or make a phone call to them at any time. I look forward to your vote for re-election. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. That's, that's it for the, uh, the district or the uh, school board and the uh, commission races. The, the next area that we, were, uh, we wanted to recognize, we have some um, folks running for CDD. And uh, so if you just stand and be recognized, we have Elsie who's running for the Lake Bernadette CDD. And I don't know if there's any Lake Bernadette folks in here, but I'll see. And uh, Anthony Hackney is running for Wilderness Lake Reserve, okay? And Peter Hansel is not having to run because he's already elected. But he is, he is, so I'm a Scared him off, baby. That's the way to do it. 
And that's, that's our run for the night. Now, is there anybody else running for office that I missed? Yeah. <laughs> okay.